I've had a few suggestions about other ways of reefing. And they are head to wind, mainsail sheeted in, head to wind, mainsail slack, close hold on jib with the mainsail slack, and then hove to, which is something I've practiced already, but I have a new adjustment to try. is just trying head to wind with the mainsail up. Now we're dead head to wind. Main sheet's sheeted in pretty tight. I'm not holding the tiller. I'm not controlling anything here, just letting the boat do what she wants. As you can see, the bow catches the wind and starts to swing round to leeward. Gradually the bow accelerates to leeward and we end up with the boat beam on to the wind as you can see from the wind indicator. Then from this beam on position the whole thing happens in reverse. The bow moves back to windward and the boat ends up head to wind again. The boat does swing a long way off the wind. I mean, it then recovers, but it goes at least 45 degrees or more off the wind, even with the main sheet sheeted in hard. So in a big wind, you know, you're gonna be taking a, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of wind on the sail. not a very stable position because you're going from head to wind through 90 degrees to wind beam on and then back to head to wind seems to oscillate a fair amount I've got one reef in let's see what happens if I unsheet the main sheet Okay, so left to our own devices here, the wind's coming off from the port bow, nearly the port beam now. The boom is good 50, 60 degrees over the side of the boat. I'm not holding the tiller. Anyway, so letting everything go doesn't put me in a good position for reefing because it's going to be very hard to reach those reefing lines. Okay, we're more or less head to wind with the main sheet sheeted in. If I let the main sheet out, yeah immediately the boom swings right out and the winds coming and the waves are more or less beam on here yeah and she doesn't want to round up So I'm more or less sailing on the jib, 
slackened off the mainsail, now taking a second reef. We're still going along at three knots. Second reef. Pretty straightforward. Okay, just practicing going hove to again. And I found before that I was fairly beam on to the wind fairly flat angle and I want to be more pointed into the wind and I read recently that a common mistake with going hove to is having too much foresail up and I compensated for that before by just letting out the jib a bit but of course the other way to do it is to furl in a bit of my jib so that's what I've just done and that seems to work well so yeah as you can see I've only got a tiny bit of jib out but I've backed it pretty hard I mean it could go a little bit further anyway so that's backed but it's a l only a little tiny piece of jib and now we're at a much better angle to the waves about 45 degrees so I think for effective hove too uh, an option is to furl the jib so you've got less jib so that the wind can't push the bow round out of the wind so much. This is hove too with the jib really furled so there's only a scrap of jib out. It means we can point much more into the wind and that means I can bring the boom much closer over the cockpit making it much easier to reef. I'm back in the marina after my reefing experiments. They were really helpful. So I hove to or sailing along just under jib with the mainsail slackened. Both those seem to work very well. Well they did today. The test will be a bigger win. The whole exercise of doing all those experiments just made me feel much more confident handling the sails, handling the reefing lines and getting used to the most efficient way of doing it. So yeah, I'd really recommend it. I think it's a really good way of getting to know your boat.